All right, dear friend, friend, you are back. Who does God say we are? Affirmations. We're going to Ephesians 2, 4, and 5. 2, 4, and 5 is as follows. But God, who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our transgress transgressions, made us alive with Christ by grace, you have been saved and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So he loved us. Um, he gave us the mercy so that we would not die in sin, but that we would be able to be resurrected in him. Also, if you go to Hebrews 4, uh, 15 and 16, for we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weakness, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. So we are surrounded by God's mercy daily. That is a beautiful thing. That is wonderful. That we have someone that forgives us for our sins and that we can learn our lesson and be able to still go and be with him. We need to know um, every day we are bombarded with TV and magazine and even people on the street um, telling us who and what we should be. So we have to keep our minds uh, faithful and clear and true to the word of God, what it says we are and who he says we are in him, the things that we are given and provided for. Um, you know, this this book is our survival guide through this world. Um so I hope that you will continue to do affirmations every day. Know that you have grace in him and mercy in him, that you are surrounded daily by those things, even when you think you are not. I hope that this has been uh, a blessing to you and that you continue to know who you are in Christ. Have a blessed day.